In the archaeology team over at UB has been working with the owners of this historic Michigan Baptist Michigan Street Baptist Church to unearth some really cool bits of history and they're giving us a closer look at what is considered an iconic picture in the African American at the African American Heritage Corridor. We have pieces of glass, we have metal, we have pieces of uh, glazed ceramic. Behind the historic Michigan Street Baptist Church in the African American Heritage Corridor. So we're looking to find the builder's trench that they would have in between the church and the houses that were built adjacent to it. History is being unearthed. There's a wealth of information here that really helps to inform and fill out the story of how the people lived who were connected with the church. In partnership with the owners of the church, students at the University at Buffalo's Archaeological Survey have been discovering historical artifacts that are helping to tell the story of some of Buffalo's earliest trailblazers. Peyton Harris, who was one of the wealthiest members of the church and one of the wealthiest citizens in our community at that time, purchased the land that the church sits on along with a plot beside it for his home and another plot. The stories of Peyton Harris and Mary Talbot, two foundational members of Buffalo's African American community, front and center as their stories are pieced together. I think it'll just add to the richness of the story to be able to pull these artifacts out of the ground and say these are the things that they may have actually touched. The dig that started in 2021 is focused on taking people inside the homes of Harris and Talbot using artifacts dating back to the mid 18th century. Andy D'Agostino has been working as a crew chief at the dig site. The vast majority of what we've been finding since 2021 until today are what we would call domestic housewares. So broken glasses, broken bowls, you know, jugs, metal from, you know, like early electrical things. But the most exciting thing, in my opinion, is the we found a bunch of ink wells and a bottle in a unit, which we believe to be where Peyton Harris's house was. That's why we selected the location. The small pieces of such a large legacy will soon be on display. The church, which is currently undergoing renovations, plans to exhibit the artifacts by this fall. What we're hoping to do next is now we're going to start building in and creating exhibits. So part of what we find will go toward creating these exhibits that will continue to tell the story of these people who made this church so prominent, who were so key. Some really cool pieces over there, and it's not too late to check out the digs in action. The site is open to the community on Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. until the end of August. That's when folks will get a chance to ask questions and learn more about the history of the site.